All right, we are getting more details about how the shooting at LAX at the terminal there, terminal number three, how it unfolded. Yeah, officials say the suspect was armed with an assault rifle and enough ammo to kill everyone in the terminal. And we're told the gunman was able to shoot his way through this security checkpoint, make it all the way down the hallway here before he was stopped right there close to a Burger King in the food court. As word spread of a gunman on the loose, people ran for their lives. Chill, 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 chill. Come on, you guys. This is crazy, dog. Well, police then chased down the suspect. They shot him several times in the chest. He is alive. He's in police custody. This video was shot exclusively by CNN affiliate KCAL KCBS. It shows what appears to be the suspect handcuffed to a gurney arriving at the hospital. The FBI has identified the shooter as 23-year-old Paul Anthony Ciancia. He lives in L.A., but he's from New Jersey. Authorities say they found information on him expressing anti-government sentiments and anger targeted at the TSA. And one witness said that he could hear the anger in Ciancia's voice. I stood up, was still trying to watch and see where it was coming from, see where, if I could see the shooter, but I never did actually see him. But you could, I could hear him yelling while he was shooting. What was he yelling? I, I couldn't make it out. It was just real angry. Uh, I just really couldn't make out what he was saying. But it was English. It was, you know, just a uh, real angry voice. So this is Paul Ciancia's family home. It's in Pennsville, New Jersey. Authorities say that he recently sent texts to his brother and his father. And those texts concerned them. So they called police. They're described as angry, rambling messages, venting about the government, his life in Los Angeles, and general unhappiness. Despite all that, people who know Paul Ciancia <laughs> and his family say yesterday's shooting has surprised them. I mean, I haven't had any personal reactions with him, but like, from what I've seen and heard, he was just a normal person, you know, uh, everyday guy, mm. you know, uh, friendly. Uh, you would never, like, uh, as even right now, I'm still trying to process, did this really happen? Did they get the wrong guy? Because if they told me that they got the wrong guy, it would make a lot more sense to me. And the accused gunman may have been a conspiracy theorist. Federal officials say he had materials referencing the New World Order. CNN's Pentagon correspondent Barbara Starr, she's live in Washington now. Barbara, let me ask you this. You know, do you know anything at this point what officials are saying about this? Well, some information is now emerging. Our uh, justice reporter, Evan Perez, has spoken to federal law enforcement official who says materials found on the shooting suspect did include a rant that appeared to reference that new world order as well as anti-TSA, anti-government claims. It's not clear what really gave rise to these references. Federal investigators have found no known links to any groups or anything in the suspect's background to explain them. For people perhaps not familiar, new world order is generally accepted to be a conspiracy theory where people believe that there are elites out there forming some sort of special author authoritarian government. This is the generally accepted view of what new world order means. But investigators, Allison, still looking into all of this. Okay, Barbara, so CNN has learned that earlier this year, armed police officers were actually removed from TSA checkpoints at LAX for the first time since 9-11. What do we know about this decision? Well, Dan Simon out in California, our, our journalist out there, has been looking into this, and he's been told that, indeed, uh, police officers were removed from those TSA checkpoints at LAX earlier this year. It seems the officers had been stationed there following 9-11, but a decision had been made to allow the officers to roam the terminal as long as they were never more than two minutes away from a checkpoint. So certainly investigators going to be looking at this also, did the system work properly? Certainly there was a massive law enforcement response very quickly. Okay, Barbara Starr, thank you.